Hello, 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 everybody. Here it is, the 18th of September. We're rocking and rolling. To start off, I'm going to say one thing to everybody. Uh, everybody was asking. Milo uh, had a, a problem, a health issue. I chatted with him last night. He's doing much, much better. Uh, he didn't have pneumonia. It was something to do with congestive heart failure. They'd done some stuff with him. He told me this morning he feels unbelievably great. Thank you to everybody. Just want to give you a heads up on that. There's a lot of people issues going on. And I'm sure Chris will go over that. Uh, one thing I wanted to bring up, you know, four or five weeks ago, maybe more, all three of us here started doing shine the light in the chair, in the tree, whatever you want to call it. But we were, we were bringing people up that uh, most of the time, you may not know who they are. And it was, it is and was a big success. A couple of things I want to say is a couple of the videos I got. Well, first, I want to talk to the deaf community. That's why I made sure the caption's on. Uh, I got 15 from the deaf community just today. Shout out to all the deaf community. Thank you very much. It's amazing. Amazing that everybody, about 10 of them from Mexico. I got some from Japan. We've got them from Germany today. So thank you very much. But I want to say something. When you, if you just, if you want to add text to your sign language, there's a problem for me because I don't understand sign language. The text doesn't line up with the sign language. So when you do your whole video on sign language, and I have to add the text at the bottom or at the top, it doesn't finish at the same time. The actual writing is double the length of the uh, the sign language, just so you know. So I'm having, I, I might not be able to always do that. Another thing I wanted to say to everybody, and I believe everybody should be doing this. Now, we all know the last thing we heard about phase one, phase two, whatever, and one of them was taken out. Until we heard something different, it still is what it is. Flat out. Okay, so if Mr. Mufar is able, he'll be on today. He has the link. I know, because I just sent it to him. Okay, anyway, um, another thing I wanted to say, we were doing... When I started, when, when myself and Chris, I'm going to talk for us and, and Red Nose too. When we were getting the bit, here's what happened. We were bringing people in from around the world. We loved it. The problem was with Restream that we use, it was getting kind of shaky. People would get kicked off. They're back on. They're kicked off. They're back on the top. This is no good. So we had decided, might have been Chris's idea. I don't care. It, it was one of us, or both of us said, look, how about if you make a video and you send it to us and we will make it look as good as we can and we'll play it. And that has been beautiful. The problem is I'm getting them and I'm putting them on and some of them are only one minute long. So we have people coming to a whole live for one minute. So I started combining them. But starting tomorrow actually started yesterday, we're going to come back on and do lives. Myself and Chris will say any ideas of what's going on, a chat. If there's uh, something new, we'll bring it up, obviously. Uh, and then we'll do one or two or three, depending on the length, segments of Shine the Light so that we can take up the, the space. Because we we should be after, uh, trying to offer more uh, value than you guys. Everybody comes for one minute. That, that's not what our intent was. But you know we're working with something we we didn't know. We didn't know how many people would come. There'll be weeks where we're we're digging around trying to find. Then there'll be weeks where you have many people. But anyway, we're we plan on still doing it. And as we move into uh, running again which we're all looking forward to, moving down the track, shifting the gears and have the fun we've been looking for. And as said, we will be impressed. 
I believe that with all my heart. That's why I'm here. Um, then we will do our normal lives. Brad will do lives and updates and all that, just like he always did, and everything, and, and everybody else. Okay, I'm not going to name everybody, but every there's many, many people doing different things. And that's good because we all, as humans, we like to socialize, we build a family, and we need that, that reassurance from each other, no doubt about it. I'm not, I don't think anybody's here and here and here and here. We're all the same. We just took a different lane. Mr. McBarrow is running the show, and that's good enough. Now, uh, also, I had done a video yesterday or over the weekend about why am I an unpassive? What was it for me? And, it, you know, it's funny when you listen to all the videos and people talking, it all summarizes to about the same thing. Originally, we came in for the money. Obviously, we didn't know anything else. I had different issues of even when I flipped over rocks, I learned that I didn't know what I didn't know, and that went on for years. Then when I did know what I knew, it was a moving target. And worst of all, you can't bring anybody with you. And in general, what I want to tell everybody, and this is no doubt about it, in any business, you need tools. In, on, in, in online marketing, you need many tools. And as time changes, the tools change. Years ago, late 1990s, you could market, do all kinds of email marketing. There was no such thing really of spam. You, you could go in and make ads and nobody critiqued them. That's over. That's not the same. And when, when I was able to learn marketing on Facebook, lead ads, it was a moving target. So getting that was a nightmare. Could I, could I duplicate what I did? No, it's a lie. Can these big gurus duplicate what they're doing? No, I'm telling you right now, no, they can't. Because if they could duplicate, you wouldn't have one or two percent being successful in the rust 97, 98 percent losing money. That's how bad it is. It's that bad of numbers. With on passive, we're given the state of the art toolkit. So when you go in and, and traffic, you're not hitting a, a moving target and doing an A B testing to see what's working, what's not working, what picture works, what we're going to have all that in our toolkit. And we all have the same toolkit. So you could be a master, whatever. So we all become a master at this crazy online marketing. I believe that with all my all my heart. That's why I'm here. Because now not only can we build, build wealth, build friendships, but everybody can go. Everybody has the same potential. In fact, you have the same toolkit. Red has it. I have it. Chris has it. Everybody watching has it. I don't care what country you're in. And when you start to realize that's why I'm in, that's the power of Unpassive. Because all the big deals in online marketing are very difficult to get. And let me tell you something else that, that is a big, big plus. When I, when myself, Mike and Dan marketed and we would focus on the business we were in, in other words, we're branding that business, it would disappear. So it might take you three months to master what you're doing, get a build up plan and you get it. You got kind of a semi smile. You know, you can make money. The company dies, and disappears. They roll it up. They repackage it, come out six months later, open it up with a brand new name, same garbage. I'm not saying everybody was nasty, but it, it that's how it ran. I'm sorry. That's the way I saw it. And I thought, man, so here's what we have. Most of the time, you couldn't meet the, the owner. You couldn't meet the guy running it. You met the, the very successful marketers. That's who you met. So you couldn't go to somebody and see if they're in it and get to hear from them. We know who Ash Mifar is. 
were with him all the time. No matter how bad things got, when the smoke cleared, who walked out of that flames and smoke? Mr. Al Mufara. I know no one at 64 years old, 30 years online, if you count Amway and before online, never, ever met anybody like him. And I had said this to someone the other day. Every business I was ever in, ever, ever in, I never felt that feeling like this is what I'm looking for until I came down passing. And that's 20 years full time. I've been in business. I said, well, I kind of like it. But there was always that little thing like, is it going to be there? Is it a good product? Does the person running it even care? Never had that in my whole life. That's part of this business that is priceless. I mean, it's absolutely priceless. And then you would always hear, you need to have more than one uh, one stream of income. We have a waterfall of income. You can do what you want, when you want, how fast you want, even your own products guarantee. I see people out here now, they're trying to do their products and all. I get it. But you're never going to do anything in your products unless you don't care. If you learn how to market and you're not really thinking about, ah, I got to bring people with me, you could make it. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of money. Because remember, while you're testing, you're paying. You do a bad ad, bad ad, you pay for it. You do a good ad, and the, the company you're doing the ad with said, you can't put that in there. That's too hypey. You paid for it. In on passive, we paid to be in. We've got that money back. We're getting a toolbox for free. Yes, we're going to buy the products. I'm using them. I would need them anyway. I had a bunch of little gadgets and things that I'd go out and buy. But they were everywhere. It was like this big sloppy warehouse. I need this. I need this to do this. I need this to do this. And none of them worked together. We had to mend and put wires. And, and I'm talking about online type of thought where you're, okay, I can use this app, but how do I get it to work with this? They weren't made to work together. So you make a bridge. A, a, who's got time for that? And then when you're all done, you go, ah, I'm bringing a bunch of people in, yay. You can't bring anybody with you. So now you're just bringing a bunch of people in that can't do what you do. Or you can't do what they do. Either way, that's what I'm saying. And what happens then? You've got to learn not to give a crap about the people and bring them in quicker than they quit. And when you can do that, you're successful. To me, that's not success. Success is when we can all go as a movement. That's what I'm passive is. That's why I'm here. We are we are being we are being led by a person that in the midst of all this, the only thing out of the picture of the coding and the money and, and the power and the wealth movement, the only thing missing, he took himself out of it. Think about that for a minute. He could have done all this with a lot less headaches without us being there. Now, did we make a difference? You darn right we did. Because you can walk anywhere with a million people in your back pocket. You got clout. But to add that to what he's built and given us the opportunity to say, here's your toolkit, and it's the best toolkit on the planet, and you can use any tool you want over and over and over and then bring people in. Let me tell you something. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry I'm talking so much, but we need to dance anyway. I want to say this. When we did MLM, and I'm, I'm, maybe some of you can relate. You get in and here's what you hear, 98% of the people. I failed. I couldn't do it. Let me tell you why you couldn't do it. Because you're selling something. And when you walk up to the person to share that business, you already failed. Why? Most people can look at you and say, he's not confident in what he's doing. And if he's not confident, why would I do it? That's fact. 
when you're dying on the when you're dying on the branch and you're going to somebody, hey, you really need to come into this. This will change your life. You don't believe it? Well, sure as hell, she's not going to believe it or he's not going to believe it. That's part of the failure of business online. Now, do I believe you should walk successful, be successful, act successful until you are? Yeah, that's a personal thing. But when I'm selling something or pushing something that maybe I just don't care about and I've failed every time, the people you're walking up to can read it. Let me tell you the difference. When this company starts to become very successful, and you, when I say this company, I mean you, become successful from $5 to $50 to $50,000 to whatever. When success lands in you and it is you, you will walk taller, you'll have a bounce to your walk, you're, you'll look better. And when you walk in a room, people walk up and want to know what you have to say. No joke. I'm, I'm telling you, success is not just something you can touch. It becomes you. Success means the truth happened and it worked. When it starts working, everything will change. All the people that told you, no, you're an idiot. I can't believe you're doing Are you still doing that thing? Are you doing? Wait. Don't beat on these people. They're not going nowhere. Your crazy Uncle Bob is still at the picnics. Uncle Bob's going to come up to you one day and say, so what is it you're doing? Why would he do that? Because when you invited him to your picnic, it's a new home. How the frick did you get this? You know that crazy company you talk about? That's how I did it. I'm telling you, but think ahead. Start thinking ahead. Walk like you're going to be successful. Why? Because you should. You're in on passive. You will be successful unless you don't want to. I don't think about the talk about money and all, you don't have to. The ingredients of on passive is wealth. Part of the ingredients of on passive is the wealth. Work on what you can. It's called you. Work on you. If you believe it, a lot of people in on passive. When on passive is in you, you'll feel like I feel. This is just, I'm not kidding. Now, I know these guys do. And I'm starting to meet more and more people that feel exactly how I feel. That's why I'm hyped up. People say, oh, I can't believe you work so hard. I'm not working. You want to go fishing, go fishing. I want to, I want to do what I'm doing in the business. Why? I can fish later. That's why I'm here. That's my personal reason. Because I did all that crap. I can do it now. I could go out there and make money and take money from people. Number 107, 108, 109, that's all you are as a number. I could do it. I know I can do it. But I have to look at myself in the mirror at night, which is already a scary thought. But anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Red. Uh, I'm done. Anyway, go ahead, Red. Well done, Marty. Excellent, as always. It really is inspiring for so many of us to uh, listen to you. It really is. Uh, you are never far away from the mark, that's for sure. Hi, Chris, how are you doing? You're looking extremely dapper, I think the word is, uh, for today. Um, right, before I get into uh, a few other bits and pieces, uh, if for those of you that are following me either on Facebook or on YouTube, you will know that I'm not in the UK at the moment. Uh, I'm doing, really, what our CEO has told us all to do. And that is live your life and wait for on passive to do its thing. And part of what myself and Jane do on a regular basis is we have a couple of holidays a year and it's normally around September time. And normally around about February time is when we take ourselves away and we have either a week or 10 days, something like that. And at the moment we're in Greece and uh, whilst I'm here in Greece, uh, I will not be doing in the chair, but I'll be doing a few lives as well, just to bring you guys up to date uh, if uh, we hear anything. But more importantly, just to so you can have a little bit of a look at this beautiful island where we are at the moment. Uh, so for the next couple of days, obviously, uh, no in the chair and obviously just a few lives. Now, I was listening to what Marty was saying. And as you know, I, I am a bit of a straight hitter, a bit of a straight talker. And what I want to talk to you about uh, now is very, very simple. 
stay the course, guys. What do I mean by staying the course is that many of us have invested heavily into on passive. Now, I'm not talking about investing heavily money wise into on passive. We've invested emotionally. Uh, we've invested our knowledge, our time, uh, our belief. All of this is an investment from ourselves into on passive. You know, we have learned so much through on passive. We have evolved ourselves because of on passive. We become, quite frankly, better people because of on passive, because of our involvement with the business, our learnings from our CEO, from these guys here, from many other people uh, who are involved in on passive. And what I'm trying to put over to all of you is that you actually owe it to yourselves to stay the course of this business. And what do I mean? I mean, you want to see it through to its fruition, see it through to what we all know is going to happen. Marty talked about inviting Uncle Bob over, the crazy one in the corner, and asking you, how did he get all this? And then you turn around and you say, you know, that thing I've been doing for the last five, six, three, two years, whatever it may be, however long you've been in, that paid for this. You don't have to mention how much you have earned from on passive. You don't have to give that amount of money. Why? Because it actually doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Do you think spilling the beans on how much you've earned is going to influence these people? Is it going to make them want to be in on passive any more than showing them what on passive can do for them? That is the real beauty about what on passive is done for all of us. It showed us what it can do, not just for us, but for everybody. Ash has said it on many occasions. People need on passive. The world needs on passive. Why? Because we're doing something that is completely different than anybody else has done already. Has other people had the opportunity now to do what we're doing? Yeah, they have. Six years in the making. We've got spies in the camp. They've been here. They've seen what we're doing. They've probably founders, they're affiliates. They know what's been going on. But ask yourself, why haven't they done it? Because to them, the money that they want from the, as an individual isn't there for them. But for the rest of us, the normal everyday guy on the, on the street, it certainly is there. And that is the difference. We're not talking about the one, two, three percent at the top of the tree. The owners, the directors, the ones that have invested heavily into a business who are going to make the money. We're talking about the every average person on the street across the globe who has a fair shot of being involved with something that is going to change their lives. And that is why we are going to be so successful within on passive. And this is why I encourage every single one of you to stay the course. Is it difficult? Hell, yes, it is. Is what Ashma Farah doing difficult? Hell, yes, it is. We've all been through our roller coaster rides of up and down, our doubts, our worries, our misconceptions of how things are going and maybe rumour control and all of these sort of things have come our way to test us in our re resolve of staying the course of on passive. This is why so many people fall by the wayside is because they haven't got that belief. They haven't got the drive to stay the course, to see it through to the end. And this is why I believe we are so close. Go back to when we saw Ash Farah last, when he changed from the three scenarios to the two scenarios. What did he say? He said, it's going to be within the month of September. There might be a week or so between the two dates, but it's going to happen in September. And until we hear otherwise, that is still on course. It's the, what is it today? 18th of September. We still have 12 days of this month left. I know this is the longest 30 day month I've ever come across in my life for a very, very long time. 
every day seems to drag. Why? Because I am excited for what is going to happen. I am waking up in the mornings, looking forward to the end of the month. I'm sure you guys are as well. Why? Because you want it to happen. You want the success that on passive is going to bring to you to make the difference to you, your family, your friends and people around you. So I encourage every single one of you stay the course over to you, Chris. Very good, Red. <laughs> Very good, Marty. I love you both. Uh, always great to hear you guys and see you on Wednesday. I want to start off real quick by wishing four people happy birthday. Uh, Pat Parent, happy birthday. Singita Bizwaz, happy birthday. Kristen Kaznowski, happy birthday. And Mohammed Kamrazaman, happy birthday to you. I hope you have a joyous day. I do want to shout out some prayers. I got quite a list of them real quick. Uh, in no particular order, uh, Robin Noble, Pat Parent, Julie Pierre's daughter, Chloe, Milo Davis, as you heard from Marty, uh, Harold Fox, his granddaughter, Daryl Cook's brother, uh, my son, Joey, and his family, Cindy Hopkins, uh, Regina Baker. Um, she was hit by a car a couple weeks ago. Say some prayers for her. She's doing a little bit better, but she's in a lot of pain, a lot of broken bones. And absolutely pray for... Uh, my brother Red, my brother Marty, and everyone else, and including Ash Mafar and his family, they can always use prayers. Even Red Redford will say that because we talk about that all the. He'll say, "Chris, shoot me some prayers, will you?" I got you, buddy. Uh, I want to do something a little different. I did a little bit of the deaf community, which rock on deaf community. I want to throw some numbers at you. I'm going to be the number guy today, okay? But not the numbers that you want to hear. Different set of numbers. And then I want to explain to you why we do shine the light in the chair, uh, uh, having a conversation with Julie, Norell Warcon, Jeffrey Morlock, the O-Tech Pros, uh, Comfort Contour. Anyone else I missed, I apologize. There's a lot of them going on because we've got a lot of people to get to. But let me throw this at you. We know last week I said there's 70 million deaf founders in the world's population. OK, and I think that intrigued a lot of the uh, deaf founders to say, I got to do shine the light or in the chair, whatever it is. Because they want to explain that you're talking to your community. Now, I'm going to break down a couple countries real quick. I don't have a lot. Uh, India. India has one billion, three hundred twenty six million. There's probably a lot more. These are a little older facts. And I think we have 60,000 uh, founders in India from what I understood. Now, 60,000 to 1 billion, 326 million plus, who are you talking to? You better be coming on to one of these shows and talking in Hindi and talking to your country. All right, think about that. Another one, I use Bangladesh and India a lot. They got 169,356,000 people in Bangladesh. I'm not sure the number on them. They got two, three, maybe 4,000. That's a big separation. Who are you talking to? Why aren't you coming on to one of these shows and talking in your language to your country that's going to be shared out through over 18 YouTube channels? Uh, Africa, 1 billion, the place that we have the most work. I really believe that. Africa, 1 billion, 275 million. 920,000 is probably a lot more than that. And I know we got quite a few people from Africa here. Let's just round up, say 3,000. Those 3,000 founders are going to be talking to the 1 billion people in Africa. You understand? That's why you need to come on to one of these shows uh, and get yourself out there. We're not doing it for us. We're doing it for you, your country, your family. We want you to talk in your language. Like I said, we don't care what language you talk to. You're not really talking to us. We know what you're saying, but we want you to talk to your country and get those 1 billion people, if you know what I mean. And where are those people all going to go? Under the Indian family, under the Bangladesh family, under the uh, India family. All right. Now I kicked in Vietnam. 99 million people in Vietnam. Now, I'm not sure I'd have to talk to Julie when how many founders we actually have over there, but I'm going to say 
2,000 or less could be more. 2,000 to 99 million. Where do you think those people in Vietnam, the 99 million people, are going to hear about it and pass it? All right. Through the Vietnamese that are coming on to one of these shows and talking about themselves, talking about what a passive is going to do, and put it out there. You're talking to your country. Last but not least, and there's a lot more I just didn't want to go on. I could go on all day like this. PNG, one of my favorite places in the world, Papua New Guinea. They have 8,935,000 people. Now, I think in Papua New Guinea, maybe 10,000, Marty, give or take, uh, founders over there, uh, 8 million people to 10,000. Where do you think Papua New Guinea is going to go to? People that are coming on these shows, people that maybe have been afraid in the past to come out of their box to talk about it. Now you have the opportunity to jump on any of these shows. One of ours, I think it's the easiest. You can make your own video, send it in. But you're talking in pigeon to PNG, to 8 million people, folks. Where do you think they're going to go? They're going to come to those 10,000 people and they are going to sign up and it's going to be unbelievable. Now, I could drop numbers, names, countries, and that's really what shine the light. I'll talk about my show right now. Red's the same. We're trying to get you guys out there to get you out of your comfort zone, to let people know, to let your people know and the rest of the world about a passive and who you are. The, the PNG will use them for an example, 8 million people. Okay, 10,000 founders. I guarantee you that you're going to relate. Those 10,000 founders are going to relate to every person in PNG, which is 8 million people. All right. They're not going to relate to me as much as they will you. Same with Vietnam, Bangladesh, India, uh, Africa. They're going to relate to you because they care about their country and they want to build their country up. That's what Unpassive is doing right now. A lot of people will say silly, oh, why are you doing that? Because Ash Mafar is working his butt off. And to be honest, I don't want to bother the guy. I want him to keep doing what he's doing. So we came up with these shows to do to introduce people. People, a lot of people you've never seen before. I know, as, fa as a matter of fact, in the deaf founders community, there was at least 15 of them I've never seen before. And boy, I'm glad that they got a voice now. Even maybe it's silent, they have a voice. And they're coming out and they're sending more videos in because I think I'm going to take a little bit of credit for that. Because when you take a uh, couple thousand founders that are hard of hearing or deaf and you tell them there's 70 million people in the world's population that are deaf and where are they going to go to? They're going to go to another. They're going to go to a deaf founder. They're not going to come to me, Red, Marty. They are going to go to you you speak their language. They understand what you're saying. And we also have what? I think uh, Marty told me last night, we got to think our first deaf founder from Germany coming on here soon. We're getting them from all over the world. You see, uh, PNG, Vietnam, Africa, Bangladesh, India. They don't just live in that country. These people are everywhere out through the world. Now, double those numbers, triple those numbers. They hear it from you. You hear it from them. They tell other people, they show other people, they're talking your language, they're signing in all different languages. We still know about that one. Where do you think these people are going to go to? They are going to relate to you. By you sharing your story on these shows, it's relating people, it's connecting people to you, to the world. It has nothing to do with us three or the other six or seven people that are doing it. Right? No, Bangladesh didn't call me and say, Chris, I pay you. $5 million, you get us all in your... No, no, no. This is volunteer, folks. This is something that we love to do. That was a pretty good Bangladesh accent. I don't know about that one, but... Uh, we want to put you guys above the rooftops, above the high tower buildings. We want you to understand that we do care about not just your country, but your families. Ash Mafara, I think if you don't know by now, cares about all your families. Uh... He's reached out many times to me after I sent him a message, a little story. Uh, Chris, give him, send him, send him this message. I sent him that message. Just that message alone makes people go, uh, you know, really, it makes, it gives them hope. That's what a passive is. 
I know in India right now, in a certain part of India, and I can't remember where I put it. Give me two seconds. Uh, where is this guy? Uh, he, he let me know that there's some major in Tenali and Andhra Pradesh in India. They have some serious flooding, typhoons. Uh, they have no drinking water, no food. All right. That community definitely needs us. All right. And that's one little part of the world that's going through tragedies, um, whether it's weather, health, I mean, sickness, whatever's out there that wants to eat us alive. It's in every part of the world. Uh, a lot of people ask me, Chris, send me some money, send me some money. I mean, I wish I could send everyone money that needed help, but I can't. The truth is I can't. The truth is I'm waiting for a bless to take off. So then we have that amazing tool that's going to help a lot of communities out with fresh food, fresh water. Right now I offer my prayers for everyone that's struggling through maybe a bad situation, uh, whether it be financial, whether it be catastrophe. It goes on every single day in this world. Um, and I pray that that stops someday. I do, I do think that God put me here for a reason, put these two guys here for a reason. And we're doing something that we've, the path we followed is nothing but good. Uh, we're not, we're not telling people lies. We're telling them the truth about what this company is. Ash Mafara, and I'll say it again, is uh, not only one of my good friends. I do call him a brother like I call these two. He's done amazing things, but I think you don't really notice it yet. But I think you will in the future. Uh, he doesn't give up. He believes in saving everyone. He believes in saving lives. He believes in changing lives. He believes in putting good food in front of you, good clothes on you. This is all the things that built him up to say we got to do a better way. Uh, corruption in this world is horrendous. It's horrendous. I said the other day, social media is a dangerous thing. You say the wrong thing or someone takes your video and cuts you up. It is a dangerous thing. This is something that Ash Mafara witnessed for years. He's changing all that. That change is coming. Uh, and I don't use it's coming that much anymore because I want you to be excited. By saying it's coming, I've said that for a few years. It's like this. Once Christmas comes, I think Red was just talking about, what are you two? Once Christmas comes, you open up all your presents, that's it. Ah, okay. No more. I got a whole nother year, or at least to my birthday, before I can open up. I have that excitement. Well, then passive, we said it many times, it's going to be like Christmas every day. It's going to be like opening a new present every day. The excitement is not going to go away, period. And that's why I love impassive. I'm excited because I see what it's going to do for people not just for me and my family. And let me tell you, I have a lot of people in my family that are struggling, probably just like yours. Uh, we really try to help everyone out and it's not always easy to do. Red just heard a conversation I had before before we got on here. Uh, and, and sometimes we just, we're in positions where we wanna help, maybe you can help. I think a lot of people are in those positions right now. And I believe, no, no, I know through Unpassive, Anyone then in your family that's going to need help. And I want you to take care of your family first. That's the honest to God truth. All right. A lot of people that will ask me for donations, they are founders. And I'm going to let you know right now that you will be able to take care of your family and your community with the foundership, with Unpassive, through Ash Mafara, through Obless, which is a learning tool. And you're going to change your country, your neighborhood, your street. You're going to take care of that person that's living by themselves that's 80 years old right now that barely has enough money to keep the heat on, barely has enough money to just make a little bit of food a day. There's That's no way to live. And there's a lot of people that live without any food right now, and they're starving. And that's what a passive and oh, bless is going to come through. Um, the tools that we have that are coming out, we've talked about many a times, uh, oh, staff, oh, academy. Oh, bless. You had a woman in there. We had all kind of O's. There's a lot of O's in there. And those are all going to come to fruition eventually. And uh, when they do, I think you'll all be blown away. But I'm just saying, I'll agree with Red. Go on with your life. 
enjoy yourself. Plug in once in a while. Wow, he actually wore the same shirt I did. And just keep doing what you're doing because that guy right there, he cares about you. I kid you not. Actually, I like your shirt better. So let me introduce my 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 little brother, my younger brother, my favorite brother out of these two bums. Ash Mafar, I love you, brother. The floor is yours. And thanks for coming, my man. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I uh, hope that you're doing great. Something popped up. Uh, uh, I really was enjoying the conversation with, with, uh, I'm in, but I made a commitment. I needed to come and show up here. Uh, so uh, it's all good. It's uh, lots of uh, progress and uh, positivity. Uh, so I want to make sure I don't uh, uh, bring everything, you know, in details, lots of mechanics. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to recap or summarize uh, where we are here and uh, the next uh, phase. So we talked about a few things, uh, perhaps moving forward and how the business is going to function. But before we get to that, I really have to address one of my biggest weaknesses that I don't have enough time to respond to all the beautiful messages that you sent me on my birthday just passed. I'm officially grown up now, still growing. And uh, I received lots of uh, warm, beautiful, sincere messages, videos, uh, things by mail. I want to thank you. Uh, all, uh, you know, really made me smile. And uh, I'm grateful forever. I, I really want to get back to as many of you as pos possible because uh, uh we have a relationship that goes beyond business. Yes, business is a big part of our relationship, but we come to know each other at a personal level too. And it's, it's an honor too. Uh, I really wish I could do the same to you, uh, but I'm gonna say it here publicly. Uh, happy birthday to you if it passed this 2024, even from January. And if it's still coming until December, uh, happy, happy birthday to you. Uh, I wish you uh, the very best health, love, success, dinero, if you like that, money, mula, uh, and uh, to be inspired as we are. So uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a million. And I uh, I can't, you know, say enough words to show how grateful I am. Uh, I'm thankful for you. It's literally you're like a part of my family. Feel uh, I feel the same. So now we uh, want to go back to uh, fill you in where we are today. Simply... Uh, we're in a better position than we were, say, for the last several months today. We're at the be best point as of now. And without lots of mechanics, but I don't want to speak too soon, and I don't want you to exaggerate with the following statement. As of now, we're working tirelessly around the clock to reopen the business as we were and then communicate to you about the next phase. There's no secret. And we'll, we'll explain to you some of the necessary things that you should know, like what happened. Like we owe you an explanation to... What brought us to this situation? But this is not our priority. Our priority is to recover the business and move on to the next phase successfully without 
failure. As of now, my confidence level is 3,000% out of 100. And I mean to inflate it because I'm beyond confident that we will succeed. We're going to overcome this hurdle and we are going to be fine. Realistically, the more time we have, the less bugs and issues we will experience with you. If we're going to compromise that, so let me give you two scenarios. We can rush in and open as of next week. Okay? So myself, I'm having a live link as of Sunday evening. So our really talented team did two things so far. One is for me, created a platform that I can oversee every dot of the business in real time in any location around the clock without having to ask back and forth or miscommunication or gaps between departments and all of that. I have one exclusive link or uh, uh, facility where I'm able to track that. It's not 100% live, but this is where we're headed. So we have been uh, preparing that. I, I believe within uh, days I should be able to do that. So I will be more accurate and I will be, I don't mind to share with you even more uh, uh, details when it comes to that, like mechanics. So this is really good news. This is a better way to manage and uh, say control the progress. The second thing is we have another private link as of Sunday evening uh, will allow us to monitor all the you know process in details anytime from any department and then post that um, and pass that we will be more accurate we will be more informed because we will see the actual picture live like api for those who know i will be able to uh, access that and you know real examples so i would say okay well this is not functioning this is working this is good so let me give you the two scenarios from sunday about a week we can go live okay if we go live after seven days, there potential we are not going to find things perfected, but you'll be able to log in, find your data, you're in the right place, you have your team, all of that. I'm in favor of that scenario. It will give you the impression, okay, so unpassive is not gone, is not going away, is coming back, and you know it will give you a sense of our tenacity, how aggressive we are in order you know to fight to get it and and then we'll talk about you know the the journey later not now so this is one scenario now give us eight days we'll come back with lesser problems or breakage nine days better ten days better you follow me the the more time, this is what I just had, you know, a conversation with our team. The more time they have, the more perfected it would be. No leakage, no, you know. Uh, but I'm pushing that I can communicate with you. And hopefully from now on, on you cast this message is we're going to come back because this is my scenario. I said, you know what? The first step to reopen the business, like I said to you, urgently, as soon as possible, even not the whole uh, ecosystem and all the mechanics, if we assure them we're not going to bug them and say this is not working or this is, you know, this, let them finish work. But I want to give you the sense of, like, we're coming back. 
So if we can communicate that, I can I can push the first scenario. If you believe, no, we want to, let's come back and give us a sense of this new level of development, then I can tell you, you know, the time they need based on what we find on Sunday evening, because we're going to go live with our private, you know, application, then we'll have a sense of um, where we are. Okay. Understand there has been a lot of, you know, intentional uh, poo-poos by former employees, and uh, we'll 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 let you know that, okay, uh, in in a professional way. But it's irrelevant today, so that's why it's not just coming back. It's not a click of a button, and and we, it's it's a lot of things to sort, okay, and sort out. Now, uh, this is all good news. We're no longer talking about, are we going to come back? We're no longer talking about it's open, maybe a few months. We're not, it's unknown. No, we're talking about days. We're talking about it's under control. We're able to tackle all the issues and we have different scenarios. So if one doesn't work as we want, we move on to the second scenario, third scenario. It is going to work. So remember, 3,000% confidence. Absolutely. That's all you want to know. So all in all, uh, we're today we're in the best position by far for the last year, at least. Not because of where we are exactly right now. It's because of what we were able to recover and fix and because of what we prepared for you next. And that's where when we're going to have a little wiggly dance, okay? But seriously, <laughs> seriously, you're going to love it. It's, it's, uh, it's definitely something to be proud of. The, the comeback, I mentioned that to you a few weeks ago, is going to be historical. What happened to us, how we sustained that and survived it, and where do we take it afterward? Nothing less of, I don't want to say miracle, but but it's, it's a remarkable work. It's not typical. I would tell you, any other company would have disappeared of the map entirely. So it's all good news uh, because of where we are going, because we have a good grip of, of, uh, of the business as of now. And uh, we have the right people. Uh, we do have the uh, right expertise and the right uh, trustworthy individuals. That's what matters. As of now, I can confirm to you, we have expanded in other locations. We're not going to be talking about this much in the early stages as of now, but as of today, we are working, I'm talking about the next phase from multiple countries as of now. I'm not going to give a lot of details on that. You do whatever you want to, 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 to track and stalk us, no problem. Uh, it, it doesn't bother us, but we don't need to talk about what we do and what we go through. What matters is what we do, what we accomplish so we can present it to you. Now, that's been said, other areas of the business will be kind of revised, restructured, and downsized, okay? So lots of uh, changes are necessary, are happening, some happened already. We'll let you know what happened, like, uh, you know, on the outcome, but uh, overall, we're expanding but in a much more uh, efficient way. Previously, it was lots of noise and, uh, you know, other people were involved, uh, probably got off track for a while. I, I can confess that, and uh, I don't think it's a surprise to you. We all agree, uh, but uh, it was an incredible, valuable lesson in many ways. Uh, I believe we are 
really now focused on the target with the right people while in the background we can do the cleanup from you know all the wrongdoing uh, previously uh I don't know if you had any expectation, any certain topic you want me to address. I'm happy. I have no uh, restriction. I'm, I'm always delighted to be here and uh, uh, really honored to uh, make sure that you are up to speed. Uh, maybe, maybe if time allows, okay, it's up to you. Step number one, thinking cup so I can think. Step number two, ask for permission. Would you allow me to say something? Anything? Okay. I've been asked to talk about my personal life, to be invited to certain shows, and the reason I am not intrigued by that concept is because I truly want to respect your time. And I want to give you what matters to you, not what matters to me. So I'm 51. I know I look 15. I just turned 51, and I can't believe it. I know. You're not the only one who's, who's shocked, okay? It's hard to believe. I don't feel it. I don't look like it. And yes, that's arrogant. But I've been working with you or some of you for the past six years on this journey. Say the 45, 44 years prior to that, okay, take the first five years of, you know, diapers and all that. I don't know if they had diapers my times, but that doesn't count. So a good four decades before we we met, okay, or we started this journey. I'm proud of, of you know, that accomplishment and uh, how far, you know, I come and all of that and my background and all that. It's, it's all what led us here. At the moment, I don't believe this is relevant to you or is this going to add any value to you? Those 40 years, okay? Now, the last six years, that is more realistic that I could talk about that. I'm talking about for now. So we can talk about the last six years and moving forward, I can talk to you day and night. That's a metaphor, by the way, not literally, okay? I got business to do but when we reach where I want to take you in the near future with the blessing of God and your support then it becomes more interesting okay how did we get here I can talk to you about anything previously. Then it is more important. I don't think I'm superior to any person on planet Earth that my life should worth even a discussion to the public. And this is not what I want to tell you. I'm leading to my... I'm, I'm going to bring it home. Okay. So the reason I'm saying this... For you to know, when I come here, I come to give you the best possible value, whether it's an update or to give you the assurance about the direction or the future. I don't come here to be either appraised or talk about myself or what do I go through. Yeah, I go through hell. Don't worry. But I can handle it. I only come here because of you. And if I know for a slight percentage, I'm going to come here and waste your time, I, I prefer not to show up. 
if I have a shadow of a doubt about the direction or I know we're not going to get to a better place as a total humanity together, I will be very blunt and I'll be so transparent with you. I tell you, you know what? It sounds like a beautiful dream, but I don't think it's possible or realistic to achieve or whatever because the dream is big. I'll come here and tell you, please figure out your life. Don't have any hope or expectations. If it happens, happen. I'll let you know when it happens. I'll be that honest with you. Now, make no mistake, when I come here, I know for a fact I'm coming here to be honest with you, to give you fa to give you the facts, to, to be very uh, truthful and genuine, okay, to talk from the heart. And not only that, I know I'm taking you to a better place. Whether you see it today, you don't have to see it. I don't have to swear, okay? You don't have to have the same level of confidence as some of us do. But my conscience wouldn't allow me to come here and give you the hope, and I know we're not going to go there. Merely, I know we're going to a better place. So I feel it's an obligation because you have that hope and expectation. Sometimes it's like the unspoken words. I don't talk about them. You don't talk about them. But you have that sense. Something good is happening here. It's not about the mechanics. It's not about the website or this application or changing the color or this or that or the, the commission. or the, it's, it's the overall theme. We're in a direction that is disruptive, never been done before. And we have the feel collectively that we're honest about that. We're genuine, regardless of all the challenges and others who try to paint a different picture. That doesn't have to become the reality. The truth is we have a very pure intention and we believe strongly we have the capacity to deliver regardless of the changes. So make no mistake, one more time, when I come here, I'm coming here for you to give you the assurance, to give you the, the most possible details I could that are relevant to you, to your life. So yes, I'm here, I'm telling you, don't look at the past, don't look at the now, it's temporary, okay? But I, I can assure you, once again, my name is Ash Mufara, and I was born to make a positive impact in your life, in your future. And that can ripple to the entire world. This is what I'm here for. Not about myself, not about what I can gain, not about you know the, the short-term impact. I'm here. I concretely believe we're going to a beautiful destination. And the world is not going to be the same after our impact. Not going to give up. That's not in our dictionary. So I hope you understand uh, how much that means to me. It's out of respect. It's out of genuinity. Okay, genuinity. And it's out of, you know, uh, authenticity. It's out of uh, care. It's out of respect and out of confidence. I come here to deliver what I can, but not in any way to kind of like uh, burn the clock. Okay, I'm here to give you the best and most possible value for your time. And once again, if I don't, if if I have a shadow of a doubt that we're not going to a better place, I will tell you don't waste your time. Go figure out your life. But once again, I know we're going to a beautiful de destination together. So uh, stick with us. You're gonna go places. Uh, Here's the best part. You don't pay for it. You don't have to code it. You don't have to build it. You don't have to invent it. You don't have to do any of the, say, uh, hard work, the, you know, the, the struggle that we go through. There's no loss at all. It's all gain, gain, gain for you. I hope 
this was clear. I did my best, but uh, but I will continue doing this uh, as time allows. And uh, I think you know we're very close to the direction where we have everything under control once again, and then we would have a more organized thing without being compromised from the inside. Does that make sense to you? Nah, say it again. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're talking about. Okay. Thanks, Ash. Appreciate you coming on. You thought I'm going to repeat, right? Okay. No, I, was, I can't, you know, you <laughs> didn't got believe it for 20 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, that shirt's a killer, man. I really like your shirt. I'm a little jealous right now. Oh, thank you. When you turn 51, we'll get you one like that. <laughs> I'm 58, brother. A long time ago. <laughs> oh, you didn't have to volunteer and say, okay. <laughs> I was, let it slip. Yeah. yeah okay. Thank, well, thank you, uh, it's all good. Please feel free to comment awesome. or to, uh, to uh, kind of like echo anything uh, before we go. It's all good. I'm having a great discussion with the team. Uh, they, they went to grab a meal and then we'll continue the work. Yeah, go yeah, back. Thank to you work. for everything you've been doing. Ash. It's really is uh, heartwarming to know that you've got our back. Fantastic. Excellent. Absolutely. Fantastic. Tell, give a big hug to your wife and kids too, because I know uh, they're missing you as much as we do sometimes, I bet. Thank you. That is a true statement. <laughs> I certainly will. <laughs> Thank What's the picture, Ash? What's that? Is that a birthday gift behind you? It's that picture. This one here? Ah. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful. Let me turn off the lights for the reflection. <laughs> Do you see it? It's lots of Yeah, that's cool. That's beautiful, man. There you go, right there. Very good. Very good. Well, we do appreciate you, man. You said some pretty cool stuff today. Yeah, you did. Absolutely. You, uh, this you was whole, uh, grand slam. Yeah. Tell that team I'd buy them, <laughs> but I think you got them covered already. Ah, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, that's a cool one as well. This was uh, so they have this. Uh, I don't know the culture of. Uh, you know, handprint. It's a cool thing. My kids did the same thing. And also footprint. Yeah. And their babies. And that's what annoys me. Okay. Because they're creative uh, in many ways and I have nothing. Okay. Yeah. Like, no. how do you I... keep up with that? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Omar, come here. Give me some advice. <laughs> Seriously, like every time is uh, unexpected. They're very sweet. And I'm fortunate uh, to have you and to have them. Some people are going but, crazy. <laughs> but I apologize about my boredom <laughs> when it comes to birthdays and gifts and all of that. I, I got nothing almost. Yeah. It's okay. You said it all today, man. It's okay. I think everyone was, understands you, man. I hope so. Was, yeah. I hope they don't like uh kind of expand the the substance. Like just no, just keep it necessary. real. You keep it real. Much. I don't think I I operate based on anything uh that comes back to me in any way. So when I make decisions or when I'm going through this uh, battle in any form, uh, I'm not in my calculation. Mm. So yeah. I, I just had a conversation uh, this early morning, actually, with uh, some uh, relatives, and I actually demonstrated that I do a lot of thinking, reading, all of that, 
uh, writing, okay, and planning. We want to make sure everything is under you know control and being tracked. Uh, it's not surprising to me, but it could be uh, to you. I'm not mentioned in any of those calculations or plans, period. There's nothing that has to do anything about me as a person. It's all about what could be done to others other than myself. So I can challenge anybody. I can give them access to whatever, to find anything that goes back to me. Yeah, I have things, you know, that, that can improve the quality of my family life or education. or other. Mm -hmm. But nothing for me personal. Not financial, not fame, not credit, none of that. Awesome. I have one personal question that I have to ask. It's very important. Are you ready? You could ask anything you want. Were you able to blow out all 51 candles? Actually, we had the one and the five. So we just rearranged them. So it was 15. <laughs> I'm officially 15. It was a couple of candles. Yeah. Here's here is the beauty. Okay. Uh, our close friends, neighbors, actually, uh, they had a daughter. Uh, just the, the day after my birthday, just a couple of years ago, two years ago, okay? And his mom, so they're a family, you know, a couple, husband, wife, a couple of kids. His mom, three days before me, then me and uh, uh, his daughter, and another neighbor son, the 16, so the day after. So uh, we're fortunate to combine. We make it one event, and they always, you know, they're very sweet. We get together, we have a meal. Pretty cool. I wish nobody knows, and nobody, like, you know, uh, mentions it. Honestly, I'm just telling you a secret, <laughs> okay? But uh, they know it's no secret. Like, I I don't want to somehow bother them or have them to put any effort or do anything because of me. So I wish they don't know and they don't bother, but they know. Very good. So... One day when we're on menu or one of the late night shows, okay, after the hour, Ron, uh, we can talk about ideas, creative ideas, unembarrassing idea <laughs> that maybe I can, I can apply in my life with them. <laughs> Is that all you got? That's a simple question. We're just giving you the floor, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I hear you. So what you mean is like, how the hell you look that good at 50 years old? I didn't I didn't say that now. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> You're breaking up. Okay. Yeah. So I'll tell you what the Chris uh, said. He said, you look so damn good. How, how come? Like, okay. Almost as good as him. Yeah, almost. <laughs> That's arrogancy. I'm no good, okay? Just just having fun. Um, but I'm proud, you know, and uh, I, I believe, you know, I would be doing the same in my life. I would try. It's uh, life to worth living. You're sexy and you know it, brother. No complaint. <laughs> I'm blessed. <laughs> I am blessed, and uh, I hope, you know, I'll be able to touch uh, more areas of your life other than 
business. Two. On that note, my name is Chris Johnson, and I approve of that message. I think you've done that already, Ash. So many of us have already changed anyway, regardless. I heard that. <laughs> I'm glad. No, seriously, I hear it, and it warms my heart. Yeah, I love it. That's why I come here, because I want to be a good uh, impact and a good inspiration in your life. You know, people think you could uh, paint uh, a sales message, marketing message, campaign message of anything, and the truth is the way I see it, you cannot actually fool people in today's life, in this age. The best way to reach and connect is to be truthful and tell it the way it is. I do believe, it. I'm not saying people are super, super intelligent, and I'm not saying, you know, in any way generalizing, but let's be realistic. At least... At least, this is what I believe. People are intelligent enough to tell who's in it for themselves and who is in it in a genuine way to serve them. And right from the beginning, people are here, not, not so much about the packaging or the presentation. We don't even put the effort to do that. But we come here so they can hear the heart. And nobody, nobody can tell you what you hear and what you feel. You don't even have to follow the words. I can come here and say, Chris, I hate you. Hypothetically. But you could tell from my tone, I'm playing with him. And... It means I love you, Chris. That's an actual example. So it's not about the words. It, they could be quite the opposite, totally the opposite. But the way you say it and who you are makes the meaning for those words. And... Uh, Follow your heart, believe in yourself, follow your gut, and you know enough to make your decision. Don't let anybody decide for you and tell you this is good or bad. If you feel you're wasting your time, nobody can change your time uh, or uh, decision. If you feel this is impossible, I don't disagree with you. It's going to be impossible for you, not for us. If you feel this is different and there's a sense of respect and hope, unity, this thing is totally and entirely based on love. You're absolutely right. So don't let anybody decide for you. You're grown up. You're mature enough to make that simple thing. If somebody is like, you know, really uh, forcing you to pay something or to sacrifice or to donate to your organs or whatever, no, none of that. None of that. You're here by your choice, free will, and, and don't expect anything but good from us. Is that good enough? It's very quiet in New Jersey today, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to come another day, I guess. I'm quiet in here. <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I jibber-jabbered enough before you came on. Uh, you did? No, I, I love what you heard, John, and what you said. <laughs> I can't wait for next time. Thank you so much. I'm out of here. Thanks, Ash. Have a good day. Thank you, brother.
A pleasure, always. Cheers, Ash. Of course. Wow. I think we ended it.